Ah, how many commas can you have in a sentence without it being a run-on run -on sentence? I love this question. Uh, I love this question because it uh, demonstrates an understanding of two things. One is that a sentence can become a run-on sentence or can be a well-constructed sentence, and that this connects somehow with commas. This is a great question. And uh, the simple answer is that it can be very, very, very long, as long as it doesn't become a run-on sentence. So let's take an example. Can you give me uh, an example of an activity that might have many steps involved in it? Uh, you are given two choices, either football or origami. Origami. Origami is great. Let's go with origami. I myself am an origami practitioner. So suppose I wanted to fold an origami crane. I might say, I folded and I folded a crane. There we have a very simple sentence. But suppose I wanted to tell you how I folded the crane. I might say, I took the piece of paper, folded it in half, and made a crane. Now we have a longer sentence, but it is not a run-on sentence because I included, after the final comma, I included the conjunction and. I took the piece of paper, folded it in, folded it, let's say, comma, and made a crane. As long as we have that final comma and the conjunction, we don't have a run-on sentence. So I could make a very long sentence. I could say, I went to the store, comma, I looked at all the beautiful pieces of paper that were on the display, comma. I decided to get the paper with the different designs in it, comma. I went to the counter and I purchased them, comma. I took them home by walking to my house, comma. I sat down very excitedly at my desk, comma. I cleared my mind, comma. I folded the first fold, comma. I folded the second fold, comma. I folded the third fold, comma. I folded the fourth and fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth folds, comma. And at the end of the process, I finally made my origami crane. Now that's a very long sentence, but it is not a run-on sentence because at the end of the sentence, I included the comma and the and. Because by definition, a run-on sentence is a sentence with two independent clauses, which just means two, two parts that could be made separate sentences that haven't been joined with a comma and a conjunction. So for example, I could say, I folded the paper, comma, I made a crane. I folded the paper, comma, I made a crane. Here I have two uh, independent clauses they could stand on their own as separate sentences i folded the paper period i made a crane period that would be fine but notice how if i join them with just a comma i folded the paper comma i made a crane period it's uh, a short sentence but it's in fact a run-on sentence because it doesn't have this comma and the conjunction at the end of it now there's one more one more thing uh, that I want to say uh, is that when we create a very long sentence, which I have to say can be very fun, in fact, a creative writing activity that you could try would be to see how long a sentence you can make without it being a run-on sentence by making sure it has that final comma and conjunction. However, if I went on for 20 minutes, not only would we not have a chance to answer any other questions, a person might get lost in the sentence. And so another important question to ask yourself is how long is the right length for any particular sentence? How long is the right length to convey to the person you're speaking to or the person for whom you are writing your thought in the most uh, meaningful and most beautiful way? Now, I love that one of the examples that you was offered was of origami because I happen to have a very uh, particular fondness for origami, for origami and for origami cranes. In fact, since we're on the subject of origami and the length of sentences, here are 
1,000 origami cranes. And I could tell you the story of how I folded 1,000 origami cranes in a single long, 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 but not run on sentence. Uh, but in fact, this is a, the story of these thousand cranes is in a, a, a show that I wrote about a, a girl named Sadako Sasaki in Japan and how she folded a thousand cranes. And in fact, because you mentioned the word origami after after our conversation, I'm going to send you a link to that show. So if you have uh, some interest, you might be able to watch that show. Okay.